I am worthy. I am capable. I am able. Today is going to be a great day. Today is going to be a great day. That was just me this morning at 8.30 a.m. Now, I don't believe in manifestation, but I do believe in the power of the Holy Spirit in all that the Lord has in plan for our lives. But we can't allow that to come in fruition if we are lazy all the time or if we are making excuses for everything. So let's glow up, y'all. Let's glow up. Hey, what's going on, friends? My name is Brianna, and if you do not know who I am, you are about to find out. I make YouTube videos and really content overall on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube for all of my young adults who are adulting and just need a little bit of help. Or maybe you don't need help, but you need a true friend to be there for you, give you some advice, give you the realistics of life because I feel like still even going into 2024 or in 2024 and beyond a lot of this stuff is just like fluff so here on this channel here in my reality of videos we're getting to the real and we're talking about real stuff today is all about how to glow up especially going into 2024 and a little disclaimer this is not your average typical joe video where i'm gonna come on here and tell you everything you need to buy everything you need to invest in everything you should be doing in terms of everything in your life you need to go out there you need to evaluate your life you need to go back and look at your goals like no because a lot of the times it's not the goal that's the problem it's our internal that's the problem what is causing me to act like this what is causing me to do this what is causing me to not already be living the life that i want to live and be able to glow up and be in that state that i see other people in so i do have a couple of things that i really just wanted to break down and these are really just honestly things that i've learned in 2023 so let's go let's get into it friends what are you actually filling your mind with because i feel like this is something that i've really learned in 2023 because I want to be this big influencer, I want to be this big YouTuber, I want to be this content creator and do all of the things that I see content creators do, but I'm not willing to do the things that they did in order to get to where they are. You should be watching less Netflix, less Hulu, less Peacock, less Amazon Prime, whatever you like to watch on TV or whatever you like to stream, you should be doing less of that. I already know that's not what you want to hear, but it's the truth, you know, like your favorite content creators your favorite athletes your favorite singers your favorite hip-hop artists whatever it is your favorite writers didn't get to where they are by watching tv and something in my mind has just really clicked especially in the past couple of months it was actually a podcast that i was listening to the podcast is called the department in order to be able to do what somebody's doing you have to do what they did meaning that you have to literally follow them around and be their mentee and do the things that they did because again they didn't get to where they are by being lazy they didn't get to where they are by sleeping in until 10 11 12 o'clock okay Books. they didn't podcast people those are three things that i feel like heavily in 2023 have been added into my life in a good way i have had a mentor for about a year and a half she speaks into my life she's christian like i am we literally go to the same church so she's constantly checking up on me we meet with each other every single week every monday or tuesday and if we're not able to meet in person we text and you know she just checks in with me and sees how i'm doing we have those very hard chats you know kind of like a mom but worse <laughs> in a good way though in a good way not in a bad way not in a bad way at all love you alicia love you girl a lot of y'all get headaches because you be looking at your screen all day a lot of y'all don't feel good because you looking at your screen all day a lot of y'all don't get stuff done because you're looking at your screen all day i'm talking to you <laughs> i i am i'm talking so it's okay it's okay i'm talking to myself too we're just having a nice little chit chat here really though i feel like glowing up is kind of tricky because what it means for me and what glowing up means for you could be two different things so let me know down in the comments what would you consider to be glowing up especially nowadays going into 2024 glowing up for me personally would be just making sure that i am keeping up with my appearance i literally just started this bomb 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 skincare routine and my face is already feeling softer honestly it's already looking better than it was looking that's a glow up for me because i'm not a skincare girl you know like i'm very much a bar of soap and hot water type of skincare person <laughs> like that was my skincare but now i literally i have a one two three step cleansing routine skincare routine that i do in every 
single morning. And to me, that that's a big glow up because again, I've never been a skincare girly. Like it's just never been my thing. But also saving money, that is a big glow up for me. Maybe skincare and getting your finances together is not, is not a glow up for you. Maybe getting a glow up for you is moving out of your parents' house. It's different for everybody. So definitely let me know what glowing up is for you down in the comments because I've realized that I do wanna be a content creator and literally every time I go through my old journal entries, it's always something about a business or about creating content or being able to quit my job or being able to be financially stable. It's always one of those options. And I'm like, going into 2024, I really need to make a plan because I'm tired of writing these journal entries about how I don't want to wake up and go to work because it's too cold. I'm tired of writing journal entries about how, oh, I'm, t I'm sick and tired of not having my driver's license yet. Well, girl, what are you going to do about it? what are you going to do about it? Because the reality is it's literally Christmas season. Okay. It's holiday season full effect. And that's when we start to think, think about our goals. Like, Ooh, what am I going to do next year? Ooh, what am I going to accomplish next year? And we're in the prime of feeling giddy and feeling happy and feeling so motivated and so ready to get things done. But what's going to happen five months from now when it's not Christmas time? And when we actually have to put in the work and when we don't have that extra piece of cheer or happiness or maybe not as much friends or family around us as we would like. It all comes down to the mindset. And that is heavily something that I've learned in 2023. It's easy to be excited and to want to go and do things and have all these ideas in the heat of the moment, especially when you are in the midst of one of the best times of the year. You have to really be self disciplined especially when it comes to going after what you want that may have to do with you sacrificing money that may have to do with you sacrificing time everybody has to sacrifice something in order to achieve the goal or the dream or the accomplishment that they want so here it is here it is my question for you my question for you is if you could change one thing if you could change one thing about yourself right now it could be physical appearance it could be a degree, it could be something or somewhere you wish you could go or do. Think of that thing in your head. And I want you to close your eyes with me. We're, we're gonna close our eyes. Get the one thing in your head that you wish you had or the one thing that you wish you could accomplish. What is that one thing that you would add to your life right now? I want us to visualize that. What does that look like? What is, what is that successful person who gets that thing? What, what are they doing? What do they do every single day? What does their morning look like? What does their afternoon look like? What does their night look like? What does their relationship with the Lord look like? And really think about it, y'all. I don't just want y'all to be like, oh yeah. Like, no, actually, actually please actually think about this. Actually think about it. Because I'm thinking about mine, and this has been something that, this is actually something that I want to start going into 2024 because I know that it's going to help with actually going after that thing and having the self-discipline versus being like, oh, it's okay. I have the entire year to do so. For months, I told myself, oh, I have the entire year to do this. Now look at me. It's December 1st, and I've still gotten nowhere with some of my goals. Am I sad? No. Am I encouraged? Heck yeah. Heck freaking yeah, I'm encouraged. And I want you to be encouraged too, because this thing that you want, this thing that you have pictured in your mind, it's not impossible, but it is going to be hard in order to get there. A great rapper, one of my favorite rappers actually said, if it was easy, everyone would do it. If somebody in the comments tell me who said that, if it was easy, everyone would do it. If you can tell me what rapper said that, and don't be no cheater now, okay? Don't be no cheater. <laughs> the first person to tell me what rapper said that, I will literally send you $10. Just for the holidays, because your girl's feeling a little generous. A little gener gener generous. If you can tell me who said that, I will send you $10 for the holidays. I kid you not. I will send, I will send you the money as soon as you put the right answer. Anywho. I want you to really think about what you want, you know, going into 2024 and don't wait till 2024 to actually take action and do it, you know, like don't even picture January. I want you, we're in December. Okay. I want you to picture December or whenever you're watching this video for the first time, I want you to picture whatever month it is for you. And I want you to start right now. I write down all of my to-do lists. If I, I know I need to do something, very rarely will I put it on my phone notes. More than likely I will get out a piece of pen, a piece of pen, a piece of paper, 
in a pen or a pencil and I will write it down old school way. And once I have it, I will cross it out. That's exactly what I want you to do, okay? I want you to start drafting things. What do you want out of 24? Think of the one thing that you want to change going into the new year. A year from now, if you were to have something, what would you have? I'm gonna give y'all a very vivid example. So I've been making YouTube videos since 2018. This is probably my fourth or fifth YouTube channel in the past five years since I've been creating content and I have made content about everything under the sun. I have done reviews. One of my biggest videos to ever blow up from back in the day was a ring light review and I was so proud of that and I just really came to the realization that I love my job and I love where I work right now. I love the people that I work with right now. It's an amazing freaking company, but I don't want to work for other people and I've been saying it since 2020 when I started my very first small business. I'm sick and tired of clocking in i'm sick and tired of waking up having to go in the cold and again your girl doesn't drive so we're walking and we're on the bus <laughs> doing this okay so shout out to all my bus people out there we gotta stick together <laughs> what i did was i started getting serious about not only my youtube channel again that's why i'm back posting here before january just because I want to grow my YouTube channel in 2024 does not mean that I need to wait till 2024 to start posting because most people are actually taking downtime and time off off of YouTube. So if you're trying to go hard, now is the time. Do a vlogmas if you need to. And don't be afraid to be different, even if you're not in the content creator space. I'm back on the channel before January even hits the scene because I'm very serious about this. I plan on uploading every single week. Again, it's not going to be easy. If it was easy, everyone would do it. Anyway, that's just kind of my rant about glowing up. I want you to think about that thing that you want to change for 2024 and actually write it down and actually start taking action now and don't wait until the next year has taken off. Out of the 99%, I want you to be the 1% that stands out and actually goes for what you want in life. And I'm right here with you. You know, you're not alone. I truly do hope this leaves you encouraged. I hope that you feel excited for 2024. We still have a month to go. Make sure that you're writing out your goals. Make sure that you are taking the steps to make those happen. I want to see us win and we're going to win. Okay. I love you. God loves you. And I will see you guys next week. Mwah. Bye.